Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Culture Shock. I am your host, the very, very sore <laughs> Jeff McCrunklefuck, and I am here today with a man I've known for many, many moons. Introduce yourself. Luke, Luke Shannon Holly. Nice to meet all of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you know, you, you done introducing yourself or you, you do? I think that's all should, I got. I don't should we only got too many aliases, you know? Should, just, uh, <laughs> should we go to uh how we met <laughs> to help yeah. a transition it? There you go. It's a good way to get this. I like yeah. it. I'm not gonna edit this out. So all right. How did we meet? Monta Vista, sixth grade, I think. Right, you went to probably. you went to Monta Vista yeah, all yeah, three yeah. years. So did I. Mm-hmm. I just remember you. You're probably about the same height. <laughs> I'm six foot one right now. So, so you, well, you were always. A I, I was. I was like me in middle school. I was like five foot eight, five foot nine, maybe so five foot ten. My, dude, you were my height in sixth grade. Wait, <laughs> wait, just... you were five foot ten. So no, I'm I five. Was... No, I'm five. I'm five. I'm five nine. Five, 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 eight and a half. I knew I was I was tall in middle school, so I was maybe maybe like five ten, five eleven, or whatever. I was close to six foot. That's all I know. All I know is you were this beautiful punk rock gazelle. Oh, well, I thank you. you. <laughs> in wrestling, and I think that's what I think it was. Your I think you were wearing some type of wrestling merch. We were, it was probably oh, something yeah. you lost in truth or something, or like yeah. probably like a fucking John Cena t shirt or whatever. I, I actually yeah. I've never owned a John Cena t shirt. It was probably like a raw t shirt or whatever because I remember back then, I you had know, at one point I owned the John Cena fucking wristbands. Wristbands. I had the whole John Cena fit at one. I, point. I, like I've John Cena. John Cena follows me on Twitter. Holy shit. <laughs> you you didn't know that? No. <laughs> right, that I'll, is... show, I'll show you right now. <laughs> what, what He's a John Cena. He just randomly followed me too. Dude, and he posts some of the funniest shit. Like he keeps that you can't see me joke going on longer than anyone. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'll just go to his profile and I gotta fuck. All right, let me let me fix this real quick. We kicked this baby off by saying John Cena follows you. That's yeah. how you know this is a good one. Yeah, because, you know, he does. <laughs> That's, oh, he's your Because he does. I believe you, bro. Yeah. He, he follows. Uh, yeah, he's been following me for about since, like, fucking 20. Since, like. Um, sophomore year, maybe sophomore year, maybe yeah. junior year. The only, f- the only active, famously person that I know that follows me is uh, he's a defensive end named David Irving. Shout out David Irving. He used to go oh, to I met school. him. I met him. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah, he's cool. He played for the. He, pl- he was playing for the Raiders. I lived out in Vegas. I hopped out to Vegas in like February. I kind mm. of been bouncing back and forth, and. Um, some some dude hit me up. I'm not even gonna say his name. I don't even really know him like that. But he hit me up saying that he, we went to school together, we did whatever. And I looked at his picture and he had a like picture with David Irving, you know. And I kept mm. going through it and they looked like they were close, like not like he just saw him. And he's like, Yeah, that's my roommate, bro. Oh, I know, I know who he is. You're talking about Terry. Okay, okay. So I, I had him on the name. yeah, yeah. I had him on there before. I know, I know him. He's okay, a no good friend of mine. I just didn't want to yeah, 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 yeah. put anyone out like that. But uh so he he was really cool, man. He I hit him up. I was like, yo, you're in Vegas. Fuck, we need to kick it. I need to get one of your jerseys. He's actually pretty like uh down to earth guy. We've mm-hmm. never hung out or nothing. Yeah. But that's the only guy that I know with a blue check mark that follows me. But like, yeah, you can tell that it's actually him. Wait, yeah. Because <laughs> uh, just look at the follower count. I don't know if you can really no, see that. Dude, but it says it. it says 13.2 million. And it's got the tick mark, so that's how you know it's actually him. Well, that's John Cena. Because, like, <laughs> how it happened was it was just a stri- – it wasn't – what happened was – I was just talking to my friend Gus, and then it just – it was just a random fucking – I was on my way back to class, and then it just happened. Like, I got a notification off of Twitter saying, oh, John Cena followed you, right? 
And, you know, obviously I blew it off at first, you know, because yeah. like, you know, uh, fucking fan accounts and whatever. But then I like looked at it and I was like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. And then like I proceeded to lose my shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <I'm> all, <laughs> and then I'm getting like secondhand excitement from the story. And then, uh, yeah, I just I was like, you know, what? fuck. I'll just, yeah, I'll just do it that and was be like, like oh, childhood cool. hero at one point. That man was everything to I'm, a lot of people around the earth, too, around the world, around the globe. It was John Cena, you know? I mean, dude, if you think about it, from 2004 to about 2000, to about the maybe the like mid 07, he was not I for children. Yeah, oh, he was no. not for kids at all. He was calling Lito a slut. He was not. When when I first yes, yeah, so you remember that when I first was a John Cena fan, it was the F U. Yeah, and it, it was, was the S T F U. It was the S T F U. Yes, there was. He exactly. was calling people sluts on TV. It was like he didn't care. He didn't care. What about when, when he got I, his dad got slapped? <laughs> why did they even allow this on television when they let Vince McMahon say the N word? Oh yeah, I can't believe they actually. I can't <laughs> believe he had the audacity to do that in front of Booker T. Yo, Booker T. And Booker <laughs> T's face was the best, the most priceless thing I've ever. What about when Booker T slipped up and said it? What? That was the eighties. The it? promo. It, was it the eighties or not? Oh, Hogan, we coming for you. He's the yeah. Best, it, what wasn't it like? Was it the eighties or the nineties one? Because it was in WCW. <laughs> that, that, that was nineties. That was Harlem Heat. Booker T. So that was that was probably ninety nine. Um. Yeah. That's yeah. What WCW. I'm that was probably ninety nine. Oh yeah. But uh, it was a different time. Yeah. Well, we grew Edge, up in a Edge, different period. Edge making you know the live sex tape or yeah. whatever, but yeah. still, you know, they did they pushed their titty popped out. Oh, they pushed some boundaries for sure. Well, you know, it was 2006 They <laughs> yeah. kind of had to. They had they, they, could. they had shit like Fear Factor on TV. So and now that I think about it, I'm lying. I probably was about three or three or four when I started watching because the first match I ever saw was when John Cena was had his feud with Kurt Angle. Oh yeah, that was that that yeah, because he um he, he still was ruthless. Friend, he still yeah, that was two thousand two. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, and then he fucking switched jorts, and he's been doing that for seventeen years. Dude, I remember getting like one of my first like actual action figure wrestlers, whatever you want to call him, and it was the John Cena, and he had the Thug Life on his knuckles. Yeah, and, knuckles. and then. Yeah, the brass knuckles. Mm. Yeah, that was great. I think what really also saved it too, AEW, was bringing Jim Ross back to hear yeah, old Jim Ross's voice. Just, you know, shit. You know, he's got skin Jim cancer, Ross. right? Yeah, I heard he's yeah. going through a lot. And his, and I, like, mean, how old I think it's now? in his foot or something like that. How uh, old is he? God, he's old as shit. <laughs> 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 let, let, let me see how old he is. But, um, all I know is that he's older than he's older than hell. He's sixty nine years old. Oh, good age. That's a good year. It's a good age, yeah. That's a good age. <laughs> that's, that's a good age, right there. <laughs> I wonder what he got on his birthday. Well, you know, his wife's been dead for over a couple of years, so he oh, probably wow. okay. yeah. Well, I, apologize. <laughs> I apologize to Jr. on that. <laughs> well, you know, I kind of you set me up there, I. You know I like dark humor, so I, I had it, to. No, I threw it to I you. To. You home run it, you know. I had to. All I'm right. all about the dark humor too. It's it's better. I love Daniel Tosh, so you know. Dude, he's the I've was I've been going on a binge lately. Shout out Tosh Bruno. I've been going on a binge <laughs> lately, and I've been watching some web redemptions. Because web redemptions were the best, bro. Um, uh, brings all shit. the funny people on there. Like what, those, what's the extreme wrestling fan, like that. Oh yeah, the Sting one where he can't. He was like, "Get back in the court, Malachi." Yeah, <laughs> that was a Sting, good one. Sting, Stinger wrestling, going hard at AEW. Yeah, he's fifty six, I think. Man, he's doing his thing over there. I and mean, Punk Chris is forty three. I mean, Chris Jericho still he's treated his body amazingly, but he's still older up there in age. Yeah, you know? he's fifty, and he's never had an injury in his career. That's crazy. Unlike the Undertaker, who at some point in in his career, because you know he was on Rogan. Yeah, that was cool. And the, I lost my mind. 
Yeah, me too. Keep in yeah. mind, keep in mind, uh, I'm not t- the type of guy that's just like, oh, you know, cry, cry, whatever, right? But when Undertaker retired at Survivor Series last year, gets you. I, I I shed a couple of tears. And you know, it's funny too, because as you get older, and you, and then like you start realizing everything is scripted and you start realizing the true backgrounds to everything. I, I've, know, I've known about that, but K-fabe. I just said it apart. I didn't know about kayfabe. I didn't know shit about kayfabe till I fucking was in like middle school and shit, you know? Yeah. But uh, that's truly when you start like realizing if you're a fan or not, you know? Yeah, cause it, because like, cause the- it opens your eyes to everything. And then you, and then you really see how much harder these guys are working because if you're doing all, putting your body through all this damage, to do all that for you know it's it's crazy bro it's crazy and most wrestlers die young too super young a lot of them crazy like Brody lee he he was barely 40 i mean that man that was crazy when he passed away that was i remember he was one of the when what was it? the wyatt family right yeah. the wyatt family, when the, the wyatt how family, they managed to fuck that up is insane isn't ins- me too same thing with the shield like i know the shield and everything happened but like um, I don't know. I feel like that could have been handled better. Like the yeah. whole, you know, mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. But uh, fuck, dude. I think he was like the best one out of all of them. He kind of creeped me out. The way he used to stare and stuff. Yeah. The gator roll, that old gator roll he did, and he was. And then I start realizing. I I feel like that's what I like a- AEW a lot more because since they're using their real names and doing different stuff, I feel like it's a little bit more personal. And since Jericho already knows how everything is with it, mm-hmm. kind of. He kind of leads the ship. Exactly. And I think I think that's the best thing that they've ever done in a long time because not I'm not saying it's obviously I don't think anything is gonna kill WWE. And Vince McMahon's it's just gonna go back to the same thing, the Raw's war days, you know? You know, just Vin- have to see- I'm convinced Vince will never die. Oh yeah, no. He's 77 years old. <laughs> that man's gonna no, so, he's, gonna all. He, he's never gonna die. <laughs> and he's in he's in incredible shape. You see the workouts he's doing? Yeah, it's a little insane. He's like 79 years old and the man looks like the Terminator. He looks bigger. He looks better than I do. <laughs> yeah, he's insane. He's got veins popping out of his face. That's how big this man is. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, uh, his suits are like. No, so the suit know. game, though. You, you got to talk about Seth Rollins. Cold. No, you got to talk about Seth Rollins. With what? them suits, you gotta talk about Seth Rollins. I haven't seen him. I haven't oh, seen him. oh my god, dude, his suit game is insane. Every week, oh, every I week, I have. I'm lying. Yes, the other day I watched him. He came in with this all black suit on the other day, and he was looking pretty sharp. I think he was. He's still having a few with Reigns. No, he he's. Um, For how long ago? It may have been a long. I, I that know, was that dude. was like 2015, dude. <laughs> going on now then because when i just turned on i know that uh i know didn't john cena come back to smackdown not that long ago yeah but he ended his deal after SummerSlam because he had to go film the the peacemaker hbo max show yeah okay so okay so um so maybe it was um i don't know because i just remember a, a couple i remember when i found out john cena came back to smackdown i watched actually smackdown for the first time in years and, and they got pat mcafee now so that makes me watch every single week oh, Pat McAfee's dude I remember Pat McAfee I just remember when he was the hardest hitting kicker in the NFL yeah and then now, he's Jesus. Like, now he's like this podcast guy and he's like the wrestler he's got this guy. morning show he's doing everything now when I just remember he was a good NFL kicker you know like I'm still waiting on Madden Mobile dude I'm waiting for them to release that Pat McAfee because uh, you best believe I'm with I'm with a fucking five star that shit Madden, I'm gonna I'm gonna five star Madden Mobile has gotten to the point where it's almost getting better than like Madden's on, on yeah because you know? dude whenever my stamina it like whenever it whenever it's gone right it makes me want more madden or like ultimate team or like something like that right but like i don't want to spend 60 bucks and buy the new madden (laughs) so i'm like i'll just wait until black friday it's literally just as you get dude i've i'm hooked i've been hooked on that sick loop for years buying a brand new sports game and it's the same thing as the last one just with a roster update or something you know yeah it's uh i i've really kind of been in that sick stuck loop but this new one just kind of is horrible too this new madden is there's nothing different 
There isn't? I mean, I played it. I played I played I haven't it. played it yet, so it just seems I don't know. I just it's the same. I I, I maybe because I've just played so many Maddens over the years. So you, like, you're just um over it maybe at that no, point. No, you're just like uh it's like GTA five. You you're just fucking um so numb to that's the word i'm looking for no and madden is almost it's just like gta 5 it's just there's it's just the same thing just with updates you know you just get a new update or a new cool roster a new game mode that they've done but i don't know i'm just not really into it no more but all right so we talked about how we met and all right what was our first interaction because um, I can't remember that shit. <laughs> yeah, neither can I. I just remember Mona Vista. I remember, I remember just Mona Vista being just our place of interaction. But I don't. I can't remember like a specific time or a specific. Yeah, I can't. Day. I can't remember that either. You know, it's funny too because I I think every single time we do run into each other, we're basically doing this anyway. So we're talking about the same stuff, like we're just like, same, oh, what's up, man? How are you doing? It's not really one time that stands out in the crowd, you know. It's just always the last time, the last time, the last yeah, time. Yeah, literally, literally, like yeah, I can remember the last time I saw you. The last time I saw you, just like the last time I saw you, you had a beard. Yeah, yeah, seriously, just, and know, not only I just that, shaved. So I already told you, you looked for, like a incredibly different from your workout routine and everything like mm-hmm. i said you used to be just be some tall lanky kid and now you're all walking around all like can you pass me the mustard like look at you're, like, <laughs> you're like give me you're yeah. like give me that last hot dog boy yeah boy. <laughs> you know you, better, you don't want to you don't want to test it you don't want to test this you're like eat it oh no no that's give me infringement <laughs> so uh uh First impressions, I guess, would be the next thing to say, if you can remember. Quick, just to put a little, uh, I, have a, I have a question. Uh, what's up with yeah, the 4, 420 friendly? How does that work on this podcast? Uh, fuck. To be, so I, mean, I, I did one with uh, my my brother, Onyx, and he smoked on the show. We sm- we did that podcast high as shit. So, so uh, would it be okay if we I were smoked? fucked up? Yeah, you go ahead. Right. You go right ahead, man. We were, go. dude, we were blitzed out of our skulls, but we were, we were uh, good enough to like handle, <laughs> we've done it long enough to where we can handle our shit. You seen the new, uh, you seen the new Full Send podcast? Uh, no, I have not. You might need to send me that link. I might have to, because this most recent one is the Nelk Boys. You know the Nelk Boys. Mm. I don't know how recent it is, but they brought Mike Tyson on, whatever, whatever. But the, the best part is they're getting super high because Mike Tyson smokes like a chimney. And you look over at Kyle, and Kyle's literally like, <laughs> <dead. laughs> like, doesn't even like. He's just literally can't even talk anymore. You're just like, I, uh. <laughs> yeah. he's like, I see. Uh, he's like, I, uh, he's like, I can hear colors. <laughs> <laughs> he's all turn off the lights. I can't hear. <laughs> you're, you're just like, turn down the TV. What do you say? <laughs> yeah, yeah. On the TV, I can't taste my mac and cheese. <laughs> yeah, that you know that's a good high when you, you when you turn down the TV just because you can't see something. <laughs> or you turn on the TV because you thought you heard something, but it was just something that was on the TV. <laughs> yeah, you're all, you, you yeah, hear yeah. police sirens, but you forget you're watching a Halloween movie. Well, that so. isn't. And have... <laughs> yeah, when I every single time I listen to like <clears throat> when I be bumping all my rap music. They always have silence. <laughs> you get too high. Oh Jesus! <clears throat> you start Co- collect yourself. <laughs> oh yeah, that one got me. It got me. We're yeah, ready. That, was, that was a good one. All right. So, uh, can you think of any first impressions of like what was the first thing you thought when you were like, "Oh fuck, here's this kid." Uh, <clears throat> I actually don't know. Right as I right when I I I because I'm trying to actually think of the last time I saw you. I feel like I've known you for so long. I can't even think about the first time I actually met, which is kind of sad. Yeah. But, um, We've had so many interactions. It's just become mixed. Fuck, man. I actually can't. It's kind of got me now. You kind of got me. I feel like we're, you know, we need to make new memories. 
Yeah. New memories. Yeah. So for the next podcast, we can talk about all those now. Yeah. So it'd be like, you remember that one time you fucking you paid a hooker to eat a lollipop at your asshole? Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Something good. Something good like that, you know? Yeah. We'll go, we'll go, uh, we'll go get a, we'll go get a massage. I have one of these massage parlors that I know. <laughs> and then we'll come back and we'll talk about half of the story. Yeah, that's hilarious. So um, I really don't have any questions written, so I'm going to just go by the seat of my balls. Yeah, we're winging it. We're so, yeah, I'm going to just go by the seat of my dick. So um, uh, um, words. So <coughs> let's talk about uh, wrestling, I guess, since we were talking about it for the last 20 minutes. But and then, that's uh, all I can really think about right now. What about a... Dude, so how how much you follow NFL? Uh, I have the app and I watch the games every Sunday. So okay, all right. Well, did you hear about uh hear about what's going on with the Raiders wide receiver Henry Ruggs? Uh, no, I did not. I heard what's going on with um, I think it was some some it was Deshaun Watson, I think, on the Texans or some shit where he's like facing the sexual assault allegations or something. That's so funny that you brought that up because yeah, he's facing that and they're they're thinking about giving him time. Well, the Raiders wide receiver just a couple days ago broke news that he hit a family going 156 miles per hour and killed Fuck. them. And I don't know if it was a family. Take that back. I think it was like two girls who were partying in Vegas or something like that. Don't really quote me, but all I know is he killed someone. And he was going like 156 miles per hour. In a brand new and the craziest part is, of course, people are getting mad because you're so rich. You could take an Uber or do whatever and mm-hmm. do all this stuff. But, but if you're rich, are you really going to take an Uber? Dude, if you buy it, and look, I'm not, of course, if, if I was drunk, I would. If I was uh, drunk, yeah, I, obviously. Money, I would. But you know, when you buy that brand new Corvette, you're going to want to drive it, but you're stupid. You shouldn't be drinking that much because you just killed someone. Now. You know, it's a whole exactly. different. So that's you know, why there's really no excuse. There's you know? a life taken here. Exactly. But now they're making memes. They're coming out with memes like you just brought up. And it's like uh, Deshaun Watson and Henry Ruggs are going to be the greatest prison league team since longest yard and all this ah, that's a good them, like, one. Touch, touchdown passes and like fucking they have them in like the old old timey like black and white robber shit you know you, like dude old- you never you never know you might have a goldberg walking around that prison dude for, you might have a great call lee locked up fucking you, you might have a bop sap <laughs> he broke it in my nose all right <laughs> in my nose <laughs> He's, I'll say you're sorry. <laughs> He's oh, like, <laughs> all right. So we already talked about first impressions, all that shit. So, like how, oh Jesus. So how you feeling, man? It's been twenty three minutes. How, how you feeling? Minutes. How you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. I think we did pretty good. I have to go get uh. The homie's little sister in a little, so we might have to cut this one a little short. But we're definitely right. going to do many more to come because, you know, I'm yeah. like, this, this was actually chill as fuck. I mean, I want to continue to do cool stuff like this. All right, cool. So for the remaining time you have left, what do you want to talk about? Whatever, man. I'm fucking back onto that thing that you were talking about. So you were you, Bill Mosley and, and oh, Dave the England. horror thing. Or not Dave the, England. Um, Robert England. Name? Robert England, Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger, yeah. You 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 want you want me to spill the beans about that or what? Uh, yeah. All right. So, <laughs> what's been going on is <coughs> this. In 2019, he uh, Corey Taylor did this thing. He was like, "I'm a part of this. I'm back in it." Blah blah blah. Right. So I worked my ass off to make the 60 bucks or however however much it was and I got it and I got my name and the credits of it right so and then you know last year happened and I got the other two and then uh this year I got this one and this is the last one they're having so Damn, like bro. so I got my name and the credits of of them three years in a row Three different movies. Motherfucker got his names in the credits too. He's gonna buy them all. You gotta buy them all. And then when you're showing your children, like, look, look, look. <laughs> you're fucking... And you know how long they are? How long? The first two. The first one's four hours and twenty three minutes. 
So run it down. What exactly is it? You said they kind of talk. So is it like a? Uh, it's a documentary. Uh, it's a documentary. So they kind of sit down. I remember watching some. I've I've watched probably every video I can on Corey Taylor. And I remember watching him videos of him kind of doing the same thing. And I bet you he brings up a uh, Night of the Living Dead. And yeah, that, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he said that that was one of the scariest movies he's ever watched, and it kind of. And he also talked about see- Halloween too. How he can't stand hospitals hospitals at night because of Halloween too. Halloween, wait, which the Rob Zombie one? Or the, the first one, nineteen eighty one. John Carpenter's. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, John Carpenter didn't want to direct it, so they had Rick Rosenthal <coughs> direct oh, okay. it, but because he didn't want to do the same shit twice, that's what he said. <coughs> Makes sense. <coughs> I, uh, I'm a big fan of of all horror, but uh, I really, my hands down, I think the greatest to ever do it is Rob Zombie. I don't know if it's the time given or maybe whatever it is, but I, uh, I enjoy all of his films quite well. And I, uh, I, 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 you know, he's, he's doing, remaking uh, the monsters. You just said it. The mo- that is going to be sick as hell because either it's going to be like, he's going to either have to have some comedy into it to kind of make it like that. But it's probably just going to be down and dirty and gruesome like some of his other ones, you know? Because I've never been a real – I don't have much investment in this since I never watched the original show. And I have no prior knowledge of whatever the fuck, you know? Oh, damn. So um, – and he said that he's going to try to keep it as close as possible to the original uh, 1950s show or whatever the fuck it was. Black and um, white, yes. Yeah, it was a, it was basically it was like a it was a, basically like a comedy like they, they, they it was, was a sitcom it was yeah it was a sitcom it was supposed to be kind of spooky and funny because they were like that but it was mostly yeah it was funny it wasn't nothing scary there so was Herman I, Mon- yeah and uh if you watch if you watch House of a Thousand Corpses uh when he goes that's my kid, favorite Rob Zombie movie when he goes in to talk to pops when the cops get there you know and the guy's all you and call he, that driving. He's watching the monster. He's watching, he's watching the, monsters. the monsters. Yep. So, yeah, uh, it was kind of funny. That's the first thing I thought of. He's already. He's all. He's always kind of digged him, and I'm excited on his twist on it. It's gonna be dope because the original Halloween, John Carpenter's first one, was one of the scariest films I've ever seen. And know? he used the thing from another world that was playing on the TV, and then he went on to remake the thing in 1982. Exactly. Exactly. That's funny that you said that, but it, it, then. I watched the Rob Zombie Halloween and I feel like it was just a, uh, it was just a lot more scarier, you know, like I said, since, since maybe, like I said, it's a different time and different. He just made it grittier. That's what he did. Exactly. Exactly. And, and it wasn't, uh, it wasn't, I don't know. I don't, he I adapted don't, it I for 2007. I would never say better because of the original is the best in my opinion, because yeah. that's where you got the idea from. That's where it was created. That's where it started, you know? But uh, I I I enjoy Rob Zombie's films a lot. I know I said that a lot, but I hope he I hope he makes more. I I hope he continues to to do that. So he kind of he kind of killed the franchise of uh, House of a Thousand Corpses and ever and all that at the like, very end. Yeah, the F- Firefly trilogy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, now that's over. He's probably going to think of his next big one. Yeah, he's going to have to come up with something, but. Uh, we've talked about do you want me to go in depth into that like horror thing or do you want to all right so it's what happens is they have a bunch of like you know horror movie actors or whatever right and they go from like they talk about what horror movies are and all that and then they go from they talk about all the sentimental horror movies from 1980 to 1989 Mm -hmm. And the first year, they went from everything. They went from The Shining in 1980 to, uh, I think it was Pet Cemetery in 1989, something like that. My and first, then my first cat's name was Church. And for the second one, they uh, talked about the movies they didn't talk about, like Alligator and you know shit like that. And then uh, for the third one, I got to do research on like, like very obscure horror movies from the 80s and like movies they haven't covered and all that stuff. So I can go and give them the ideas and be like, yo, 
that's uh, that's how it's going to be done. I just was told, my bad. I can't believe I'm ending it like this. I was. Just it's all good, man. You gotta go get all the right. ride. But I promise all you, right. we're doing this again. You know, plug your shit real quick, man. Plug uh, it real quick. Uh, plug Instagram Ghetto Hippie, but it's spelled G H dot E T T zero underscore H I P P I E. Uh, Snapchat. Sweet Links will be in the description. Sweet so just send Snapchat me all your shit. It. There you go. I don't really right, have any. Cool. Else. All right. This has been the Culture uh, Shock. See you later. We're going to do this again. All right. Thank you, bro. See you later, man. No problem. Later, brother. Later, man.